What's up guys, it's Lou from Unbox Therapy and today we're taking a look at the new airport time capsule from Apple. This is the 3 terabyte version but it's also available in a 2 terabyte model. If you're interested in pricing and availability, the links will be in the description as usual. What you're looking at is an all-in-one device that acts as your wireless router featuring dual band 802.11ac which offers up greater performance and extended range over the previous version time capsule or airport extreme for that matter. But that's not the whole story. Story. The reason you will likely purchase a time capsule is because you're looking for a backup device. In this case, you get three terabytes of storage in order to back up all of these systems on your network, whether that be laptops, desktops, or otherwise. So that's a really nice feature, especially for people who constantly forget to back up locally. This will happen in the background wirelessly, and you can schedule it to happen whenever you please. Uh, it's a very unique looking device in terms of networking equipment. It's changed quite a bit from the previous version it is now taller and slightly more slender hopefully this has something to do with the improved performance i don't know i'd like to think that's the reason it's shaped this way on the back you have three ethernet ports as well as a wan port for inputting your modem into this device and then you have a usb port now that's going to be used for sharing usb devices whether that's more storage a usb thumb drive or a printer a usb printer that isn't otherwise networkable you can also share that in Inside the box, there's not too much else. You have your power cable as well as a little bit of paperwork from Apple. You don't have any Apple stickers in this particular case, but that's not such a big deal. I've got enough of those anyways. So there's your device, the brand new time capsule from Apple. As I said before, available in three terabyte and two terabyte version. If you buy the Airport Extreme, it looks very, very similar, but of course it won't include that internal storage for that wireless backup. Now, myself, I'm sort of, you know, backing up to a number of different devices in order to be incredibly redundant because I do a lot of work on my systems. So likely I will have dual backups. I'll have a wireless backup going to the time capsule and then I'll also keep a wired backup going to a wired USB drive or something along those lines in order to make sure that I've got my data in a couple of different locations. Anyway guys that wraps up this quick look at the airport time capsule from Apple. If you enjoyed this content make sure to leave a thumbs up down below and I will catch you guys on the next video. Later. Oh, <laughs>